Good afternoon, students. So today we will continue with our chapter. That is chapter number seventeen. Chapter number seventeen, and the name of the chapter is forest. So, with respect to with respect to this chapter, okay. Yesterday we talked about why forest is important to us. Okay, we talked about few things. That means uh, what forest constitutes and. Uh, how we can differentiate uh, forest with other habitats as for example we have uh, a large proportion of uh, wild animal sorry animals and plants in the urban areas also or in a rural areas okay that means uh, we can say in gaon gaon basti mein but uh, it can't be considered as a forest so we have a peculiarities of forest that uh, it contains a varieties of a large number of plants and animals and that are naturally natural habitat okay where most animals has been provided with shelter or uh, other things that they mostly need okay so we talked about importance of forest so importance of forest as we all know that uh, it is very much essential for regulating atmospheric temperature atmospheric temperature maintaining what you can say food chain food chain third providing resources providing resources means we get many things from forest like uh, we can say timber medicines okay we get uh, honey also at extra okay so that means it provides various resources so today we will be talking about types of plants and trees in forest first of all we will talk about as we all know that forest constitute both forest constitute both plants and animals so first of all we will talk about plants types of types of plants plants and trees in forest trees okay so as we all know that uh, varieties of plants and trees are there in the forest and uh, few varieties are common to all places but uh, few are most peculiar to forest okay so forest has a wide variety of plants and trees based on their life span plants and trees are classified into following three classes they has been divided into three classes according to life span okay so plants and tree has been categorized into three types according to the life span number 1 annual number 2 biennial b i e n n i a l s biennials and perennial so it has been divided into three types annual biennial and perennial okay that means uh if you see the word annual okay so we can say that annual means year one year one year that's why it is said that uh, the annual fee or the annual session okay that means annual year means almost one year by as we all know by means two so two Two years or more, because why we have written year here? Because we are talking about lifespan. 
and life span mostly related to time okay and perennial peri means many many yes so basically we have three types of plants or trees that we get in the forest annual trees that means it has a life span of only one year biennial which has a life span of only two years and perennial which have a life span of many years it can be more than two it can be three it can be five or it can be 20 or even it can be 60 70 or 100 also okay so the plants having lifespan of one year are called annuals plants having life span of only one year are called annual okay we have that are called annual plants example we have shrubs herbs or basically we can say small plants okay small plant shrubs herbs etc okay biennial the plants having lifespan of two years plants having life span of two years so many plants are there which have a life span of more than one year but less than three years okay so this type of plants we can include in biennial plants then we have perennial plants perennial means many or we can say continuous we can say continuous means uh, it doesn't have a certain fixed year okay it can be more so the plants having long lifespan varying from a decade to few hundred years okay that means having decades that means 10 years 20 years 30 years or more than 100 years also plants having lifespan of long term okay it can be 10 20 100 50 60 whatsoever okay mostly in this category mostly big trees has been included okay perennial and uh, this word perennial we can use in many other aspects as for example we have two types of rivers in india okay this is just to give you an example okay two types of rivers number one seasonal and number two perennial okay rivers with two kisim ke hote ek hote seasonal rivers ek hote perennial rivers seasonal seasonal rivers kya hote hai jab monsoon hota hai when there is a monsoon when there is a rainfall actually when there is a precipitation okay then it is filled okay these rivers are filled and in dry condition okay that means in winters it will dry up jab barish nahi hai to ye rivers sukh jate okay so seasonal rivers are mostly fed by rainfall whereas perennial rivers are evergreen evergreen means wo season ke upar depend nahi hota hai they don't depend on upon seasons okay because they get the source of water from the glaciers okay or we can say mountains and they are evergreen that means perennial rivers uh, we can say it has a long span of term okay that means uh, whenever this word comes perennial then think that it has a long life span okay so this was only to explain you about perennial that means the word that we can use in other aspects also or other subjects also okay so basically we have three types of plants or trees annual life span of one year biennial life span of more than one year but less than three years that means two years and perennial 
lifespan of many years it can be decades or it can be hundreds of years also okay now let's talk about layers in forest so at the beginning of the class i talked about the resources i talked about uh, the people who lives in forest area that means the tribal areas okay that means in some part of the forest we can go but at the core of the forest we are restricted because uh, that is more denser and uh, mostly wild animals resides there okay even tribal peoples also reside at the outer layer of the forest okay and they extract the essential things from the outer layer okay so let's talk about layers of forest so trees of various different types are found in any forest they can be categorized by the height shape leaves flowers and fruits so layers of forest depends on characteristics of characteristics of plants or trees plants or trees characteristics of plants or trees means it can be its uh, flowers it can it can be its height shape okay height shape okay types of uh, florence fluorescence that means type of flowers what does it does it have a flowers or not okay so in this layers first is first we can say we have a crown okay crown of crown of the tree that means number one is crown so what do you mean by crown crown ka matlab hota hai mukut okay that means jo sabse upar mein so we can say that uh, the top layer of the tree a top layer of the plants are termed as crown okay so the branch part of the tree above the stem branchy part of tree above the stem are termed as crown termed as crown as i told that means the above the branch whatever the part is there okay it is termed as crown okay the crowns are of different shapes again these crowns are of different shapes okay as we can see number 1 different shapes size and many make several horizontal layers in the forest and these layers are classified into following types number 1 canopy what do you mean by canopy again canopy means uh, we can say that uh, the topmost layer of the crown of tall trees is called canopy that means the top layer most layer of tree is called canopy okay so the canopy when seen from above appears as a green colored roof umbrella so it appears as a roof suppose this is a tree and there is a branchy parts here and it act as a the top layer act as a roof and this top layer is termed as canopy okay the uppermost layer of the forest canopy slows down the falling rain drops the rain water coming through branches leaves and stem of the trees falls over the forest ground directly and washes away the upper layer of the soil that means this canopy is very much important in terms of in terms of the habitats okay ye kis tarah ka hota hai chhatri ki tarah hota hai chhatri ki tarah means a coverings a roof okay or which helps which helps 
टू इरोड टू प्रिवेंट दिस सोइल इरोजन दैट मीन्स अगर ज्यादा बारिश हुआ अगर तेज बारिश हुआ इसमें फॉरेस्ट में ओके सो जो भी ग्राउंड में जो भी है जैसे कि जो जमीन में है जितने भी जानवर है और प्लांट से और माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म से अगर तेज बारिश हुए दे गेट वॉस्ट आउट ओके सो दैट इज प्रिवेंट बाय द कैनो ओके एंड इवन द रेज ऑफ द सन सो एज वी ऑल नो दैट इन फॉरेस्ट द अमाउंट ऑफ सनलाइट इज मच मोर द हीट इज मच मोर ओके सो वॉट हैपन्स देयर एट दैट टाइम द कैनो पी द अपोमोस्ट लेयर प्रिवेंट्स दी अमाउंट ऑफ सनलाइट दैट मीन्स उसको रोक देती है और जितने भी सफिशेंट जितना है उतना ही आपको दैट विल बी रिसीव बाई द ग्राउंड ओके देन कम्स अंडरग्राउंड और अंडर ग्रोथ सेकेंड इज अंडर ग्रोथ सो दिस लेयर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट ओके it is according to the characteristics of plants okay we will talk about layer of the forest in terms of area also okay that is not in the book but i will try to explain you so shorter trees from different layers under the canopy are called under ground or under story that means below the branches below the branches जैसे कि कैनोपी जो है वो टॉप मोस्ट लेयर है जो अप ब्रांच के अप ब्रांच के ऊपर में एक छतरी की तरह बट उसके नीचे जो एरिया है उसको क्या कहते हैं अंडर ग्रोथ और अंडर स्टोरी अंडर इट्स कॉल्ड अंडर स्टोरी ओके सर लोएस्ट लोएस्ट लेयर इज फॉर्म ऑफ हर्ब्स ओके दैट मीन्स द लोएस्ट लेयर इज हर्ब एंड एट लास्ट इज The third one is floor, forest. So, सबसे ऊपर canopy, uh, like an umbrella shape, mostly composed of leaves. Okay, mostly composed of leaves. Second is canopy. Sorry, second is under story, the undergrowth. Okay, below the canopy is termed as undergrowth. And the last one is forest floor so the ground surface of the forest is called forest floor or we can say ground or upper layer of the earth upper layer of earth and it is very much important because uh, this forest floor they act as a they act as a source of Uh, what you can say many small plants okay and they are home for various microorganisms also like uh, earthworms and uh, lichens and various other small organisms like ants rep uh, we can say scorpions okay these all things so dead and decaying organisms are also found in forest floor so this was all about layers of the forest depending on the characteristics of plants so as i talked that uh, this was according to the characteristics of plant shape okay jaise ki ek uh, forest means a trees ka shape kaisa hota hai but in terms of area layer of forest in terms of area that is not in the book but i will try to explain you layers of forest in terms of area okay uh, as we all know that uh, we have a different layer of earth also earth ka bhi ek different layer hai that we study in geography okay so layer of forest uh, just think that uh, this is a forest area ye sara jitna bhi hai kya hai forest area hai. okay and uh, mostly we have uh, different types of uh, होम्स यो कि यहाँ पर भी है घर यहाँ पर भी है यहाँ पर भी है यहाँ पर भी है यहाँ पर भी है मीन्स ये टाउन है सपोज तो एक डिस्टेंस रहती है देर इज अ डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टाउन एंड फॉरेस्ट ओके दिस इज अ टाउन
and this is forest so we have a rural area also rural area means a gaon area okay gaon basti jo bhi kehte hain okay so it's not that only in town areas only people reside people can reside here also people are residing here also so people who reside near the forest they are termed as tribal people tribal people and the town people also can go here okay and the tribal people are mostly dependent on the forest they come to town also but for basic things they are mostly they depends on forest so the layer of forest as i told that uh, these tribal peoples they can they can get the forest products at the outer level only at the आउटर लेवल जैसे कि ये एरिया फॉरेस्ट का ये एरिया जो है सिर्फ यहीं से जैसे कि सिर्फ यहां नहीं है ट्राइबल पीपल सब एट बॉर्डरिंग एरियाज आते हैं ओके सो दे गेट द फॉरेस्ट प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम दिस एरिया बट इफ इन दिस एरिया इफ दे कान फाइंड देन दे कैन मूव टू they can move to further area suppose say this ye area mein ja sakte but with some restriction from the forest department yahan bhi ja sakte lekin kuch had tak okay not completely but at the core area it is very much restricted because this core area mostly composed of wild animals okay and it is said that if we disturb wild animals then there will be a consequences okay that means uh, what i mean to say that uh, agar hum log jangal mein jayenge to jangal ke janwar wo dar jayenge wo log sochenge ki hum log unko harm karenge hum log unko uh, kuch uh, what can be said harm means uh, नुकसान पहुंचाएंगे ओके सो वेन दे विल फील अफ्रेड दे विल बी अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन ह्यूमेंस एंड एनिमल्स सो बेसिकली वॉट आई मीन टू से दैट फॉरेस्ट ऑल्सो हैज अ लेयर इन द आउटर लेयर वी कैन गो ओके वी कैन रोम ओके इट इज नॉट मोर डेंस उतना डेंस भी नहीं रहता है क्योंकि आउटर एरिया में और वेरियस फॉरेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स हमको यहीं से मिलेगा बट इन दोर एरिया एंड इन दिडल एरिया इट्स वेरी मच रिस्की टू गो ओके एज वाइल्ड एनिमल्स कैन बी देर बट ट्राइबल पीपल्स कैन गो बिकॉज दे आर नोन टू दिस एरिया क्योंकि ट्राइबल पीपल को पता है कि किस एरिया में क्या है okay, जैसे हम लोगों को पता होता है कि ये सर में यहाँ है यहाँ यहाँ पर गांव है यहाँ थोड़ा आगे ये मिलेगा थोड़ा उधर ये मिलेगा ओके okay, सो so, this is all about layers of forest in layers of forest so if you want to explore a forest agar aapko forest mein ghumne jana hai to yes you can go but the thing is that you are only permitted to move at the outer area not at the core of the area okay it's very risky and the forest department will not give you permission to go in the core area Okay so this was all about layers of the forest in terms of areas